What widely accepted fact do you know is wrong? If you touch a baby bad the parents will abandon slash kill it most birds don't do that. If you help a baby bad back into its nest, as long as you try not to touch the nest a lot then everything should be fine. If it's an adult bird you rescue then not touching it for a day does help with it getting your scent off but not 100% needed. I know this because my mom and I rescue wild animals when they are hurt or still babies and release them when we are able to that Einstein failed math slash was otherwise a poor student. In my school there was a poster of Einstein with a quote, do not worry about your difficulties in mathematics. I assure you mine, our greeter it was supposed to be an inspirational quote, showing how even the greatest mathematician struggled with math. But I always saw it as Einstein telling someone to shut up about their petty math problems while he was busy trying to figure out how the universe worked at it. Apparently I've insulted the field of mathematics by implying Einstein was a mathematician so change the greatest mathematician for a really smart cookie. Well. Because that's what it was. I always see those LPTs that say you should know your blood type in case of an emergency, so the hospital can get you the right type. This is 100% incorrect. We never take the blood type a person says they are. Patient remembers INCOR, RECTLY equals DEAD patient and hospital gets sued. We always perform a blood type and screen before giving a patient a blood product. The only exception is in a true emergency, and then we only give O negative blood. Your head does not lose proportionately more heat than the rest of your body. It's about the same. This one particularly annoys me. Yes. It's true if you're fully clothed, but not wearing a hat. Obviously the only unclothed part of your body will lose more body heat than the rest. But no. If you're naked you're probably going to lose less body heat through the part of your body that's covered in hair. Covered in hair. Laughs in bald. Schizophrenia has nothing to do with a split personality. There is also a pretty big difference between someone being moody and someone who has bipolar disorder. Drives me crazy when someone says that someone is so bipolar if they change their minds often or are in a bad mood. People generally don't know about the severity of the ups and downs. We only use 10% of our brain. So, what? Like? 12%? Edit. I'm getting serious replies to this. Totally appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. But I was just kidding with this comment. Saying we use 10% of our brain is like saying we only use one third of our traffic lights. It's not Luke. I'm your father but no. I'm your father. Depends on if you are watching Tommy Boy or not. Left and right brained people who are either more artistic or more numbers base. Just as inaccurate as the parts of your tongue that taste different things, yet people still say it. I really wish people wouldn't limit their own potential like that. Sorry, I just don't do math. I'm more of a creative type. Or oh, I think too logically for art. Like, what? Look at Leonardo da Vinci. The dude invented a flying machine and painted the Mona Lisa at the same time. Creativity and logic are not mutually exclusive edit. To two. NASA spent dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign inventing a pen that worked in space and the Russians used pencils. Total bollocks. The Fisher Pen Company was independent and developed its space pen with zero investment from NASA. American astronauts began using mechanical pencils in space. Tiny fragments of graphite and graphite dust floating around the spacecraft was not ideal because graphite is conductive. It's also combustible. So everyone was keen to find an alternative. Fisher patented its first zero gravity pen in 1965 and in 1967 NASA began using it. By 1969 Russia were also buying them for their space missions. Reportedly both NASA and the Soviet space company received the same discount for their bulk purchases. Thank you. Thus one is a perfect example of misunderstanding something complicated, the US federal procurement system, and drawing the exact wrong conclusion because of it, the Russians were smarter because they just used a pencil. A similar myth is that the duty would deliberately spend $600 on a single hammer. Rather, this was an accounting artifact due to contractors claiming a flat overhead price on a spare parts buy, split up evenly amongst all the spare parts. 
the cheap parts look ridiculously overpriced, but the expensive stuff, like engines, look ridiculously cheap. And then we ignore the cheap price on engines and focus only on the expensive hammers. Napoleon wasn't small. He was just the victim of good propaganda by the eventual winners. Also his personal guard had a strict height requirement, so he was always around someone taller than him. That and at the time the French were using a different sized inch than the English, so his official French height sounded small to the English, who were used to bigger numbers for height. Goldfishes really do not have a memory span of 5 seconds, they actually remember things for months, recognize their owners, and are able to distinguish them from other people. I had two goldfish when I was younger. Their names were Paula and Mr. Fishy. When Mr. Fishy died, Paula spent the next couple of days frantically swimming around the tank trying to find him. It was heartbreaking to watch. AWW. That hurts. I love goldfish. They are adorable. That you have to wait 24 hours to report someone missing in the USA. There is no law about waiting. You don't have to. Push to make the police cooperate and list the person missing immediately when you suspect something isn't right. Don't lose precious time, it's extremely important if the person truly is missing. I don't know how that myth came to be, it's way too dangerous. If you tell the truth, I won't get mad. This is exactly the same as saying if you confess, you won't go in jail. Although I guess witness protection is a form of this, only really works if there's a bigger fish, though. That medieval slash ancient people only live to be 32 years old, and at that age, they were considered ancient. That estimate is an average, which means it accounts for high infant slash child mortality. Lots of ancient people live to their raters and older. If you made it to 30, chances are good you're making it another 30 plus years. Also that everyone in the middle ages was getting married at 12. Not true. You could have a wedding arranged as an infant, but marriage would generally not happen until late teens. Even then. That's only royalty and nobility. The average serf didn't own land, and therefore never had a legal marriage at all. Peasants would just start cohabitating and making babies. Clarification. I'm talking pre-1300s. Plague happens and people start owning shit smh. That cracking your knuckles too often will cause arthritis. This thread reads like a spotter's guide to stuff my mum told me when I was young. My mum still says such stuff by reading it off of WhatsApp forwards. That you swallow 8 spiders a year in your sleep. The origins of that myth is so weird. It made its way around message boards in the 90s and possibly earlier. Then at some point, the Snopes Usenet board, free website, claimed that the myth was invented by a tech journalist who wanted to illustrate how lies spread on the internet. Except that Snopes lead, the journalist never existed. So now there's a second layer to the myth that being the myth of who invented it and why. Just limino. People definitely expected the Spanish Inquisition. Lies. They gave people a heads up I remember reading somewhere. We are experiencing a temporary high volume of phone calls. Your call is important to us. Listen please listen carefully as our options have recently changed. The first is to make people more likely to wait happily. Second is to try and get them to pay attention to the options, which haven't been changed in 20 years. We are here for you during these unprecedented times. Apostrophe. I work in higher education. They have been saying this throughout the pandemic. They announced yesterday that staff will not receive their annual raise or bonus. They have also furloughed staff. Faculty, which includes administration, will receive those raises and bonus and none have been furloughed. Even in the email, where they told us we would not receive the raise slash bonus it was this shit we are here for you. We appreciate you. Blah. 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 Cutting your hair makes it grow faster. The Great Wall of China can be seen from space. Space. However, can be seen from the Great Wall of China. Lol this guy believes in space. That daddy long legs are the most venomous spider in the world they just can't bite you. 
and you swallow X amount of spiders a year in your sleep Mr. Rogers was a sniper in Vietnam a duck's quack doesn't echo. A duck's what now? His classy. Sort of like something but different. Sugarcane grows faster on sand. Well you can blame Minecraft for that one. Same with diamonds are blue. Blue diamonds are actually one of the rarest color of diamond. If you have a cold, you should get lots of vitamin C. This is completely down to one scientist called Linus Pauling who had a theory that massive doses of vitamin C would cure colds. Subsequent studies have shown he was wrong, and any benefits are minimal at best. Yet I still get everyone telling me to drink orange juice whenever I get a sniffle. My dad has smoked for 45 years and still thinks he's fine because he drinks a glass of orange juice every day. People didn't think the earth was flat 500 years ago. It was theorized to be round in the 5th century BC. The Americas were just not known yet, except to indigenous Americans, and it was believed that there was a vast ocean between Europe and Asia. People believed Columbus voyage would fail, because he would exhaust his food and supplies before crossing it. Edit, holy f king s percent it this is the most liked comment I've ever made. Thanks for the medals kind stranger. The Chinese also knew the earth was round earlier than that, and even sent expeditions to map it. But they mostly got lost, did pirate stuff, or sank during storms. Way better boats than Columbus had though. Didn't some ancient Greek figure out the earth was round because he had some friends measure shadows of the same object and same time in Egypt and Greece. Tourette syndrome isn't always exclusively swearing and controllably. It represents a wide range of tics. Both verbal, not verbal and physical. Every case is different. Guy with Tourette's here, no, I don't just swear cause I got Tourette's. It's just fun. My daughter has Tourette's, and your comment made me laugh. I heard her saying FCK repeatedly one morning, and I thought, oh shit, a new tick. But no, nope, I was wrong. She was just playing Fortnite. There's only four states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas and plasma. What else is there? Genuine question. Supercritical fluid. Degenerate matter. Bosenstein condensate. Fermionic condensate. Time crystals. And more. That the human only has five senses. Considering sense of humor I still have only five of them. I didn't see that coming. That different places on your tongue taste different things such as sour. The Kitty Genovese murder was a case of gross apathy. There weren't that many witnesses. People did intervene and did call the cops. Sophia Ferrer, who passed away yesterday, at risk to herself, ran to Kitty Genovese's side to comfort her in her last moments. Note that this incident is what led to the formation of theory of the bystander effect. This murder was a subject of fake slash dishonest news media reporting, primarily by the New York Times, which grossly lied about the number of witnesses, and is why most people believe it to be a case of gross apathy. The lawsuit over McDonald's coffee burn wasn't some ridiculous old lady looking to cheat the system and get money. She was legit severely burned, and basically got very little money out of it. It is important to note that they had been ordered already to stop holding the coffee at insanely unsafe temperatures, and they ignored that order, so the huge slap down by the courts was more punitive than anything. If I'm wrong, please LMK. Glass is actually an extremely viscous, slow flowing liquid. That's why old windows are thicker on the bottom. No it isn't. It's very clearly a solid. It's a disordered, non-crystalline solid but still solid. Old windows are thicker on the bottom because they were designed that way. Edit to everyone telling me that it is an amorphous solid. Yes, that's right. That's why I said it was disordered and non-crystalline. Still a solid though. When they made stained glass windows for the great cathedrals, they were smart enough to put the thicker part of the glass on the bottom so it would be stronger. Gladiators did not kill each other the sport was much more civil and it even had a referee. The spectacle of the games included brutal executions. Sometimes of hundreds of people. These executions were done in the most creative ways possible. Like throwing people to hungry lions. The gladiators were the least brutal part of the games. 
And a lot of the executions were held during what was essentially intermission. So people there for the games could go get lunch, or whatever, and the people who wanted to see the executions could watch. The road not taken by Robert Frost is not about how the road less traveled is better. It's about how you cannot know how life would have turned out if you had made different choices. So you have to convince yourself that your choice made the difference. He looks down both paths, and while one looked slightly less worn, they were really equal with no tracks on either. But he knew he would never be back to make that same choice again. So he imagines that in the future he will say with a sigh that taking the one less traveled made all the difference. He's just making peace with a choice he cannot change. I saw somewhere on Reddit that he wrote it to mock an indecisive friend of his. Not sure if it was true though. This is true. And the friend was poet Edward Thomas. The poem is ironic and its true theme is actually about not taking yourself so seriously. That carrots help with your eyesight. It was propaganda by the allies in WWII to hide the fact that they had radar. If you don't have enough vitamin A, also called carotin, you can get blind. So it's not completely wrong. Exactly. Vitamin A is very important in proper vision. But it doesn't determine your vision abilities. If you're legally blind or use glasses, vitamin A won't fix it. But it's still necessary. You don't really have an allergy to monosodium glutamate. Wait until the Karens know that their bodies also produce MSG. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.